my first semester with Sandy in the person in society class, we had a speaker come in and talk about the difference she and a group of people she's with made. Um, do you remember who I'm talking about? Ask Joan, I think. Her name, her, her name was Joan, and she did the project on uh, Cesar Chavez. Yeah. On, oh, yeah, she works for the you Pacific go. Sun. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and she inspired me, and at first I was still reflecting on I was told, you can't do it, you can't do it, and when she started asking questions, I'm like, but what are we going to be able to do? You know, what's my opinion going to count for? And Sandy just, like, totally caught up to, what do you mean you can't do something? And she just yelled at me, and I'm like, but, but I've been told all my life I can't.
duties as as a teacher <clears throat> to um, also introduce students to things that they if if they were simply given their own choice they might say, you know and you were to you were to say here's here's an here's an area of knowledge you know, don't not without going into it in detail but just something that they might recognize and my my background happens to be in physics so I say oh so what does that mean to you right and well, it doesn't mean anything, so let's not study it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's to, you know, and if there's a passion about it, there are certain things that, I mean, maybe a, at a tertiary level will, will make you a, a better person, or <coughs> make you more able to run your life, or more able to be empathetic to the person next to you, or, or something. But there, there are parts of of knowing where the primary passion behind it is simply, is almost ineffable. It's simply that it's really excellent to know. Um, and if it isn't excellent for you to know, okay, at least give it a shot. But let me, you know, and for within my specialties, expose you to things that you wouldn't in a first order attraction say, you know, I really want to know about that. Well, you know, and so that to me that's one of the great gifts of higher liberal education. And, you know, my, my only wish is that they were all, always taught like that, as, a, as opposed to it's taught because it's a requirement. Why is it a requirement? Because we've always done it this way, and why are you doing that? Well, because my parents told me to come to college, and why are you doing that? Because they told me that if I don't, I, I'll, I'll be living in a dumpster. <laughs> None of which makes anything exciting. <laughs> it's just, just a threat. So, so I, that, that's the only response that, that, I, that I was thinking of, is that I consider that to be one, one of my callings. And it's not it's not everybody's calling, but to introduce people to things that they just they they I, I've had students say it to me, you know, in in areas that I've taught, and they say, you know, I never would have read that book list that you had for this course, you know, if I went into a bookstore, I never would have picked out these books, and man, it's just amazing, you know. So. I, I just want to say something real quick. What you were just saying just echoed something. Uh, before I ever met Sandy, I, I was given the opportunity by my parents to choose my own religion, and I basically chose Buddhism for basically what you just said and the way Sandy runs her class for the most part. It's not a lack of... I'm trying to bail you out of some trouble. I, I don't it's not know. a I'm lack not sure. of structure. The, the way Sandy does things is she, she, she offers it. She says, here... If you'd like to take this, you can. It's almost like if someone's sitting on the floor, you offer them a hand up. They're getting up on their feet anyway, so either way they're going to join you standing. But it's whether or not they wish to take your hand. And uh, in my opinion, one of the greatest teachers of all time, Buddha, one of, the, one of the things that he said that really got, is the reason I chose Buddhism, is take everything I say and test it. If it's gold to you, if it's truth to you, keep it. If it's not, just throw it away. And that's a part of, of I, what I think the person-centered learning is all about. It's, you know, here, I'm offering this to you. You can either take it or you can leave it. But before you do, test it. See if it's true to you. If not, then, hey, nobody's forcing it on you. And that, it, it, it's just like you were just saying. It's, you know, what does this mean to you? Well, why does it mean that to you? Or why doesn't it mean anything to you? And then, it's more of an internal dialogue than it is just a, you're going to learn this because this is what I'm telling you to learn because it's on the, the syllabus and that's what you know we've been told you're going to learn. I have a direct question. I don't know if that's okay. Oh. 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 We're, we're in trouble. <laughs> I've been holding it for a long time over here, so it might have evolved. I was going to start with a personal abstraction, but I'm editing it out for time. Um, 